my great Mondays. It's my great Mondays. I gotta work on my hook, but I wanted to talk about hormonal migraines that can be a big source of migraines for some. So essentially any change in your hormones, whether it's from perimenopause, postmenopause, um, periods where the estrogen levels drop right before the period, any hormonal fluctuations can lead to migraines. So what you wanna do is number one, stabilize the hormones. So what I like to do for my uh, premenopausal patients who have periods and their hormones are clustered around their periods, I put them on an extended cycle, low dose, estrogen progesterone combination oral contraceptive pill or a birth control pill but essentially it's a birth control pill that causes periods to happen only every three months so whereas you may have a period occurring every month with this oral contraceptive pill you have the uh, hormone levels staying the same throughout three months and then at three months the estrogen level drops a little bit to allow for withdrawal bleeding or a period. And during that time, the hormone level, it's still with that placebo pill, um, it's a slight drop in estrogen, so it's not a huge drop. So they're less likely to have a migraine be incited um, because the, the hormone drop is less than what you would see in a normal period. And then what I do is since I can predict exactly when that hormone drop is gonna happen, because I'm treating them with an oral contraceptive pill, I like to use a long-acting triptan, uh, something like a Froba triptan. So a lot of people are, are familiar with Imitrex, which is a migraine drug. Froba triptan is in that same class of drug, but it's long-acting. And so with Froba, I will treat them a couple of days before I expect them to withdraw bleed or have their period. And standing dose, so I treat them twice a day, in the morning and in the evening, for five days, few days before the period and a few days into their actual period. So by doing that, I'm able to also um, prevent the periods that I know are gonna happen every three months. Now, with that being said, hormonal migraines can happen, uh, but then people can also have non-hormonal migraines in between. So if that's you and you have hormone hormonal migraines and it's mostly just hormonal, then the oral contraceptive pill long-acting triptan combination may work for you. But if you also have a lot of migraines in between periods and it's not really related to the hormone cycle, then you probably need to be on something other than just um, uh, another migraine trigger is a crying baby and she's about to lose it. But we're gonna get this done before she does. So um, another uh, combination that you might wanna try is just doing the oral contraceptive regimen that I was talking about, but also doing a preventative a more standard preventative like Botox or CGRP drug, which I've spoken about, like the Amavig, the Emgality, the Ajovi, that are now out in fantastic drugs, or even a more traditional prophylactic or preventative medication like the Topamax, the beta blockers, propranolol, velproic acid. There's, there's a role for those as well. There's still a role for those. Anyways, my, my point is, is that if you're having migraines in between your periods as well, you still may want to be on a preventative agent other than just the hormonal regulation and stabilization that I'm talking about. Also, there are other um, uh, uh, patients that may not be a candidate for hormonal treatment, and those are patients who may have had a history of blood clots or a high risk of strokes and heart disease and heart attacks. And if that's you, then you don't really want to be on high dose oral contraceptive pills. Um, and or triptans, triptans can possibly increase your risk of cardioembolic events or heart attack strokes. The low dose oral contraceptive pills is a little more controversial. You may still be able to have those um, medications. Anyways, I hope this was helpful for my hormonal migraine sufferers out there. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or questions and I'd be happy to answer them.